Rowan. All right, this is an interview of Louis Vaskoff. Wassoff. Va Wassoff, I'm sorry. In his home, Hoover Avenue, Jamaica, Queens. It is August 8th, 2002, approximately 3.30 in the afternoon. Interviewer is Michael Russert. Uh, could you tell me uh, your full name, your place of birth, and date of birth? My full name is Louis Wassoff. And what, when were you born and where? I was born 11, 29, 18 in Poland. Uh, when did your family migrate to this com country? Well, uh, my oldest brother arrived in, in New York on, uh, on uh, the 1920. He was in the army. Mm -hmm. My second oldest brother was in the army, and uh, we arrived. A brother, a sister, and I arrived in this country on uh, February twenty seventh, nineteen thirty seven. Okay. Um did you attend school at all? Uh, in the I attended night school. Mm -hmm. I worked during the day. Where did you work? I worked, well, I started in a drink stand. Then, uh, then I worked in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. I patrolled in Missouri. Um, when did you hear about Pearl Harbor? What happened at Pearl Harbor? Uh, my oldest brother, bless his memory, my mother and I were uh, driving to a shoe store on, on Delancey Street and it came over the radio that the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor which uh, nobody knew where Pearl Harbor is. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about this? Felt, felt bad. I felt, I felt like I felt like in the attack the Twin Towers. The very same thing. Very, very, very bad. Not worried. I worried for the people that got killed. Um, did you enlist or were you drafted? Well, I actually it was it was I was in 4F because I had a kidney stone on a kidney. When I passed out a stone, I went to the local board to tell them that I'm ready to go in. So actually, it's in was inducted, mm -hmm. but I wanted to to serve this country. Um. So you uh, went into the Navy? Yes. And um, why don't you just explain where you uh, did your training and, and things you remember about that and tell the training, from there. The training was up, uh, basic training was up in Samson, New York, upstate. Mm -hmm. from, uh, from there, when, after the basic training, we, w we went into the outgoing unit, OGU. And from there, I was assigned to the armed guard to a, a tanker. What, were, what did the armed guard do? We, we meant the guns on the merchant ships. This is the, this is this is this is the tanker. Two tankers. Are, two tankers. Are the picture yes. up there? Yes. Mm -hmm. It says World War Two tanker. Mm -hmm. Now, even though this was a merchant ship, you were part of the U.S. Navy. Yes, we were assigned. We mm -hmm. manned the guns mm -hmm. on, the, on the on the ship. We were like that's what they called it, the armed guard. Mm -hmm. What kind of guns were they? We had. Uh, we had a 350 on a, on a, on a, on a bow. Uh, we had uh, 
538 dual purpose gun was for uh, submarines, uh, surface, and aircraft, and 20 millimeter machine guns. What was your assignment on the ship? We we were trained for to have uh, for every station. Mm -hmm. Just God forbid, some somebody gets hurt, so it's like I don't want to replace them. It wasn't one one station. Mm -hmm. Was there one assignment that you had, or did did you always rotate around on uh, the ship? Uh, we didn't rotate around, but uh, in, in case somebody, as I said, mm -hmm. I get got hurt, so we, you replace them. So we know we know all the assignments. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us what it was like being on these tankers? Were you ever under, now you were in the Atlantic? I was uh, all over. Oh. You, you can take a look. Uh, right there, turn it, turn it, turn it over, so I will tell you. Well, okay. Okay, so you were in the Atlantic and the Pacific uh, and the European uh, Theater. And the European Theater and, mm -hmm. uh, and the Asiatic Pacific and the American Mm-hmm. Now, um, can you tell us about some of the, uh, now, were you on the same ship all the time, or? Uh, no, I was on two ships. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, on two tankers, in the same job. Mm -hmm. What were the names of the ships that you The were? ships, the uh, uh, SS uh, Yumatilla. And SS York. Mm -hmm. And um, can you tell us about some of your adventures on uh, these ships? Well, uh, the adventures uh, was uh, that uh, coming back from England, Liverpool, uh, we got assigned to, to proceed to to Venezuela to pick up oil. On the way back in the Caribbean. There was a submarine attack in general. It wasn't our particular ship. How many ships were there together? Was it a large convoy? No, the, 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 the con we got detached from the convoy. Mm -hmm. It must have been about 50 ships, but we got, in the mid-Atlantic mid we got detached from the convoy to proceed to, to Venezuela to pick up uh, crude oil. And on the way back, there was an attack. There were submarines in that area who were firing all night, all night long. As a matter of fact, uh, we didn't have time to put cotton in our ears, and uh, so, so for a couple of days, uh, my hearing wasn't so good. And Is that what you did every time you fired the guns? Was to put cotton in your ears? We sh yes, we're supposed to. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have time. The general alarm went off uh, around after midnight. So we just ran because we, we slept with the life jackets. Mm -hmm. And we had those uh, knockabout shoes, you know, to slip around like in slippers. So you um, <clears throat> you slept with life jackets on. Was this yes. all the time or? Uh, more, most of the time. Mm -hmm. Um, that was the regulations. Did you ever come under air attack at all? No, no we didn't. I think we were in Calcutta, we were firing anti-aircraft guns. But I, not our ship in mm -hmm. particular, but with a lot of firing. Um, what was life like on one of these ships? It was, uh, it was Life, you didn't think much of the, any danger. You didn't, didn't think much, but it was it was good. It was good life. What made it good? Why did you? What made it good? You did because for the cause that we that we were in, mm -hmm. that made it good. A good cause. How many times did you cross the Atlantic on the uh, Atlantic? Uh, the first ship. We went to England, and we came back, and from there we went uh, to, we, we crossed the, 
the Panama Canal on the way to the Pacific and we were in Iran to pick up oil. We refueled two cruisers in the middle of the ocean, the Pacific. Mm -hmm. The Boise, I forgot the other, that name of the other cruiser. And we were like a mothership. So you had the capacity to to fill ships yeah, out? Yeah, refuel. Refuel yes, ships? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. Yeah. Do, you, do you have any stories you want to tell us about your service? Any particular things you remember? Well, uh, in Australia was good liberty. And South America wasn't too bad. But we didn't stay too long. Because I think you know, you discharge your cargo and uh, you take off, put it in ballast, and, uh, you, and, you, and you take off. Did you get to see any kind of entertainment or USO yeah, yeah, shows? Yeah, yes, in Australia. I saw Bob Hope in mm -hmm. uh, God, Manus Island, yes, Manus Island. That island, it was this, uh, that's where they invaded Leyte. Uh huh. But I saw, mm -hmm. I saw uh, some. When you were in the Pacific, did you ever have any contact with submarines there, or were no. they just in the Atlantic? No, no. Um, did you ever see uh, the Japanese Air Force or uh, uh, kamikaze attacks at all? Uh, no, in New Guinea, in New Guinea, but it, it wasn't aimed at us. Mm -hmm. It was up in the mountains there. We could see, you could see the the planes. But we, we won't in contact. Okay, how long did you serve in as in the armed guard? I served from uh, from the beginning from basic training. No, when I was assigned to the to the ship, I was assigned I I think it was in April nineteen forty four. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I got discharged uh, March 1946. Uh, mm -hmm. I served uh, two years and three months. How did you feel uh, when you heard about the VE Day in Europe, the, the victory in Europe? We jumped for We were in Iran, in Abidjan. We jumped for joy. <laughs> How about the um, when you heard about the atomic bombs being dropped on Japan? Yeah, that, that was we were in Bombay. And uh, the, the rumor was among the, the crew that uh, the United States dropped a, a bomb, a 100,000 ton bomb. They didn't, we didn't know that had the effect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of 100,000 tons. So, uh, so we were saying, how can it be? How can a plane carry such a, such a heavy heavy load? Mm -hmm. Then we found out it was the atomic bomb. Did Did you ever have any contact with, like, say, uh, probably on uh, on shore leave, like with the uh, army or you know, uh, the, oh, oh, yeah, yes. the army air force? Uh, yeah, or? Yes, yes, we we met. We just exchanged uh, ideas. Did, did you get along good, or were there fights? No, I, got, I, got, I only had one fight on the dock uh -huh. <laughs> with a shipmate. <laughs> in, we were in Aruba. He, he, I gave him money to purchase something, and uh, he, he was a little bit under the weather. Nice guy. No, no. As a matter of fact, I was in, uh, in uh, basic training with him. Mm -hmm. um, did you? Uh, how do you feel that your experience uh, in the service changed your life or affected your life? Did it in any way? Made a better person out of me. Why? What because way? of the discipline and uh, you have to be, be on, on your station on time. A general alarm used to go off, used to be right to the station or submarine watch. Did, uh, do, uh, dawn and dusk, 
to be with my station, punctual, mm -hmm. disciplined, very, very good. After the war, when you returned home, did you ever use the GI Bill for anything, or? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I worked for a while in the Brooklyn Navy Yard, and then the, the, uh, they didn't they didn't need all this this uh, personnel. I, I got the, I went into the dress line. Mm -hmm. I worked in the dress line for 46 years. Okay. Um, did you marry after you returned? No, I didn't marry. I, I was married late. I married late. Well, when did you get married? I got married. Uh, well, I was only married for four years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, she wanted to, she didn't want to stay in New York. And I still had a good working capacity. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't want to go every, every night to the nightclub. Mm -hmm. I, want, I like I like my work, and I worked for 17 more years. Did you uh, have any children? No. Oh. Okay. Um, do you uh, did you belong to any veterans groups after the war? I belonged, but uh, when I lived in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, after I moved here, I didn't join another post. But uh, anyway, to, to the national parades, I, uh, I attend like uh, Decoration Day or uh, uh, Armistice Veterans Day, we call it. Mm -hmm. Did you ever stay in contact with anyone that was in the armed guard with you? That was, uh, that was for, for about a year. Mm -hmm. Then the, this era. This uh, John, can I get up? Sure, sure. I'll just stop fishing. We are very good friends. Was Where was he from? He was from Brooklyn. Okay. And this is in San Francisco. Why don't you tell us about some of the other pictures and things you have? Oh, a lot of pictures. <coughs> well, oh, show us the, our, your ship. Is, okay. This is uh, this is the tanker that I was on, and two tankers. Now, what what one is? What's the it's name of that one? Uh, well, uh, this uh, this is general because oh, okay. it's a World War tanker. Okay, yeah. they all look like that. Yes, uh, they were the fastest tankers at uh, that time they built, the fastest and the biggest. Uh, and the, the name of the ship was. Uh, SS Umatilla mm -hmm. and SS York. Okay. Why don't you tell us about some of the other photographs you have up there? Well, oh, this is a friend of mine and his friend, uh, Abe England. Uh, he served in Belgium. He was with the paratroopers. That's his friend, uh, a signalman, Harold. I don't know his second name. This is my oldest brother and his friend in Fort Dix. You said you're, both your brothers served in the army? Yes. Did they survive the war? Or? Yeah, they survived the war. My oldest brother got discharged when they were came, the law came out over 38 and he went, went to work on the fence. And my second uh, brother served in Panama on the coast artillery. Hmm. Which I saw when we crossed the Panama Canal on oh. the Balboa side. Hmm. And this is my oldest brother in Fort Dix. And this is in Fort Dix. And this, this crew were, were from the Gunnery School in Shelton, Virginia. I don't know their names. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, that, uh, that's you in uniform. In the middle. Yes. So that was taken just before you were discharged then? Uh, in the uh, yes, it was in March. Yeah, mm -hmm. March. And this is in India. And 
this I pointed out in mm -hmm. San right. Francisco. This uh, uh, two shipmates or five ship, Sullivan and, and Kelly. And this is a picture of uh, on the ship, and the first ship was on by the gun. Mm -hmm. and I'm in a, over here. Why don't you hold your uniform up and, and to show us the decorations that you have? Hey, why don't you explain what each one of the medals is as you? Well, I'll tell you. I got to read the read. That's for the Pacific campaign. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Asian. It's it's over there. Yeah. Okay, All right. Wait one second. I'll I'll read it off. Does this sit here? Uh, no, I don't think it's here. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's here. Let's see. Okay. Can you excuse me for a second? I should take my glasses. Yeah. Top one. I lost. I have Okay. Uh, World War Two Victory Medal. Okay, the World War II Victory Medal. Actually, I can zoom in on. Uh, let me see if I if I can read what it says on the medal. Might be easier. Uh, American campaign. American campaign medal. Uh, let me grab my glasses. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, European African. Middle Eastern Campaign and the Asiatic Pacific Campaign. And uh, now that's the ruptured duck up above yeah, them. Yes. That's, uh, you got that when you were discharged for serving honorably. This is the, this I, this, this I got when I was discharged. This I got when I received the medals. Okay. All right, I got them. Probably aren't a lot who uh, could say they've served in so many theaters as you. Uh, no, only war. I said that the government's pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Then it was a pleasure to save a country. All right. Um, well, we want to thank you very much for... Well, I want to thank you, thank you. Well, you're quite welcome, Louis. Now, how old are you? Well, here's the story. When I was uh -oh. born in 1917, the height of the war in Europe, mm -hmm. they didn't keep any...